Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to school today. Today for math, you will need from your Envisions workbook, pages 317 and 318, and 319 and 320. You will also just need a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. As always, before we take a look at our learning target, we're going to go over some of the skills that we've already learned to keep training our brains to know it so that we, as soon as we see something or as soon as we think about number order, our brains can just automatically do it. So let's go over our numbers. All we're going to do is say their names. Here we go. 3, 16, 20, 19, 13, 9, 8, 17, 18, 7, 6, 5, 15, 2, 4, 11, 12, 14, 10, 1. Good job. Now let's practice counting to 30. This time we're going to count forward and backwards just like we did the last few days of last week. Starting at the number one, we'll count together, but looking at our number line, we also have that number zero in front of one. So I put that up there just so that we can practice remembering that zero comes before one. But let's count starting at one, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now we're going to wiki wiki rewind. So let's say that together. Wiki wiki rewind. We're going to count backwards starting at 30. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero. Very good. Let's do a roller coaster cheer to celebrate counting backwards. Click, click, click. Woo! Excellent job. Now let's take a look at our learning target for today. Our learning target says I can use the plus sign and equal sign in an equation. So we've been practicing addition sentences. We've been practicing putting groups together to make them bigger than before, except when we add with what number? zero and we'll sing our song in just a second but today's learning target is not only focusing on putting groups together but it's also focusing on practicing writing our addition sentences using the correct symbols our addition symbol or plus sign and the equal sign another word for an addition sentence is an equation okay so that's this big word right here can you guys say equation with me equation good job so let's wake up our singing voices <clears throat> and let's sing our adding song together while we move our groups. Ready? Here we go. Adding means putting groups together. Adding means putting groups together. Adding means putting groups together to make them bigger than before. When we add, our number gets bigger, except when we add with zero, then our number stays the same. Very good job. So let's take a look at our solve and share on page 317. Our directions say that Daniel sees two rabbits under a bush. He sees five other rabbits eating grass. How many rabbits are there in all? It tells us to write an equation to solve the problem. So we're not just going to write on the line. We're also going to illustrate a picture to help us see what that looks like. But we're going to use circles to represent the rabbits. So it tells us how many rabbits did he see under a bush? Two. So above the first line, we're going to draw two circles. One, two. And write a two on the line. Okay. 
I want you to make sure that you're using pencil in case you need to erase. I'm using this to make sure that you guys can see okay. All right, no. Now, I know that we're adding, so I'm gonna put my addition symbol in the circle here. And then it tells us that he sees five other rabbits eating grass. So above the next line, I'm gonna write five circles. One, two, three, four, five. To make sure that you have five, go ahead and go back and count and mark out. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I have five, so I'm gonna write a five on the line. So now I have two add five. What do I need to put here to show I'm gonna give an answer? Equal. All right, now I wanna see how many has all together. So I'm gonna draw a circle around both groups and let's count and mark out how many there are all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two add five equals seven. So our equation or addition sentence is again, two add five equals seven. This is what we're gonna practice on our whole activity sheet today. Let's go ahead and flip to the guided practice. We're gonna start where we see the two groups of foxes. They've already given us dotted numbers and the dotted symbols to trace. So we're gonna show our work by what we've practiced before. So in the first group, let's count and mark out how many there are, one, two, Let's trace the two on the first line to show the first group has two foxes. Then we're gonna trace our addition symbol to show we're adding them together. Now let's count our other group of foxes. One, two, three. So let's trace our three. Okay. And then trace our equal sign. So now we've set up our equation or our addition sentence. So it says two add three equals, well, let's see how many there are all together. First, let's circle both groups to show we're gonna put them together. And let's count and mark out the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Two add three equals five, okay? All right, let's move over to the next one. We have some skunks and squirrels. Let's count how many skunks are in the first group. One, two, three, four. We're gonna trace our four in the first group and then trace our addition symbol to show that we're adding. Now let's count the squirrels. One, two, trace the two, and make our equal sign to show that we're about to put the groups together. Now let's circle the two groups. We wanna know how many squirrels and skunks there are. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four add two equals six. All together. Okay, all right. Now, we're gonna skip past page 319 since that's your activity sheet for today. And let's look at page 320. We're gonna do exactly what we've been practicing on these problems plus our challenger. Let's start with the birds at the top. Let's count our first group, ready? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna write our five on the first line. We know we're putting them together, so we're gonna put our addition symbol or plus sign. Now let's count the other group, one, two, and write a two on the line. Now we're about to give our answer, so we need our equal sign. Now let's circle our two groups to show we're gonna put them together. We wanna see how many there are all are in all. So let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five add two equals seven. Okay, now let's look at our rabbits. We have two groups. Let's count the first group and write the number. One, two, three. We're gonna write a three on the line and then our addition symbol. And now we're gonna count our other group. One, two, three, four. Let's write our four on the next line. We know we're about to give our answer. Let's put our equal sign. Those signs are so important so that when we read that sentence, we know it's happening. This equation says three add four equals, let's circle both groups. And now let's count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three add four equals seven. Look at that, we just found another way to make seven. In one way we have a group of five and two, another way we can make it with a group of three and four. All right, let's go to our blue and red birds. Let's count our blue birds first, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Let's make a nine on the first line. First a circle, then a line. Now we know we're going to put it together. So what symbol do I need here? The plus sign or addition symbol. Now what do I do? I count how many are in the other group. Just one. So I'm going to write my one on the line. Then I'm going to put my equal sign and circle both to show all together. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine add one equals ten all together. Now let's look at our challenger. Our challenger says that we're going to draw counters to show two groups that add up to nine. And then we're going to write an equation to solve. So that we know how many we're going to have all together, let's write our nine on the last line. We also know that this is giving our answer, showing how many all together there are. So in this circle, let's put our equal sign. So let's find, there's different ways that we can make our number nine into two groups. Let's show the number nine on our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'm gonna put down this many fingers. Ooh, so I put down this many fingers. How many fingers am I left holding up? Six. So I can make nine with a group of six and a group of three. That when I put them all up together, they still make nine. I can also mm, put down this many. Now I have a group of five and a group of four. When I put them together, they make nine. Hmm. I can also make a group of, ooh, I put this many down, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, one, two, equals nine. So let's do, let's break nine into a group of four. So let's start out with our first group being four. So let's draw one, two, three, four above our first line and write a four. And we know we're gonna have to add a group to it to get to nine, so let's put our plus sign or addition symbol. Now, if I have nine, and I already gave a group of four of those nine away, how many are left in the other group? Five, nine is made up of a group of four and five put together. So in our other group, we're gonna draw five circles. One, two, three, four, five and write a five on the line. So I have four add five equals nine. To double check that, let's circle it and count out how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, great job friends. We are gonna continue practicing adding throughout our math lessons this week. So I will see you tomorrow for your next math lesson.